That's not out of line to shim one. When you put the engine together, make sure that you're not making any contact with anything. This long shoe, though, we're going to put it right there. The uh, And these needs to be countersunk below that shoe so they don't hit nothing. That one to go there. That one to go right there. And this one went right back there. In that area, the short pole piece will go right there. And the other bolt will go right here. With the bolts installed, the nuts and lock washers, and we was lucky on this one that we were able to and don't tighten up one go around and snug them all up and I, I will tell you something you see that you see that screw right yonder it's this way okay if you try to hold that screwdriver in that slot right there it goes in there at an angle, and you've only you've only got about that much of your screwdriver working. When you're going at something at an angle like that with a screw, you want to put that where your screwdriver is like that, so you at least have a full contact, even though it's at an angle. That's just that's going to be the shop tip for today, and maintain that setting. Now see that one right there is not correct. So if it ain't right, now's the time to set it right. Get it around there where you can where you can hold it for later. It will save you a buggered up screw head. Even to the points to where the where the countersunk ones are the same way. They them pretty tight. At this point you can go ahead and I like to tighten the middle one first. Tighten that up. That's pretty good tight. That's enough on that one time. One time. Okay. Come around and do the other one. That's pretty tight. Now come back around and get the opposite one working towards the gap. And lock that in. And, and now you do want to make sure that th these shoes can get, I, I don't like that right there, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, you see you can move that a little bit, so you do want that shoe to line up perfectly with that magnet ring. Tight, tighten her up, don't twist her off because these are 1936 nuts nuts and bolts same way over there make sure that shoe is in alignment with that with that uh, magnet ring the uh, <coughs> now that's group that that's good now we, we we are done with that installation now we'll pour something out in yonder these screw heads right here have been ground off they, they, they are not as they were produced. They got a flat place on them. And, and what you need to do is this, this distance here needs to be lower than this. This is going to be the highest part of the system. So that needs to be lower so that it don't hit anything. Also with this one, that line of travel right there needs to clear that a good amount. Some of the tests that, that different people do, and I've not tested this one, I, I I have not found magnets to be a problem, but just to show you, that's a pretty good magnet. That's pretty good. The that's pretty good too. Matter of fact, that one will hold two of those. If you break the contact, it lets the other one go. Also, this one up here. And it would hold more. Don't hardly get that one. It's quite powerful. We would not have any trouble with this magnet ring. And that's 
that's quite that's a lot of magnetism we lucky there and this is the 1936 seven four three nine four eight this is the flywheel we're going to use up to this point we're going to carry on I, and, 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 and to, uh, something you uh, to be thinking about the the uh, backing plates they they is three different backing plates this one this one and this one all three of these backing plates are different just something for you to kind of be doing your homework on all three of them will work on any year model this one without the reinforcement ring with the small lead out tear happens to be made in the ninth month of 1928 it's stamped right there it's FY-ED4 no mistaking it this backing plate has the reinforcement ring around the outside also the reinforcement rib between the condenser mounting on the other side FYED4 is it's in it's casted into the housing on this one it's actually a block casted outwards and then the number stamped onto that this one was made the second month of 1935 it's, it says it right there uh, this one happens to be made in January of 1937 it says it right there this one has the reinforcement ring on the outside but it does not have the reinforcement rib on the condenser bolts uh, just little small small uh, uh, differences and this one as you can see it only has two bolts drilled and tapped to mount the coil to the backing plate and the this one has the three holes drilled and tapped to mount the coil now on the other side when you look at them you see that the 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 the, the hole is missing right there so if you're going to use a three bolt coil on this backing plate then you would put a dummy bolt here and there's enough room right there with a thin nut and cut the bolt off flush there's enough room for that bolt to fit right there and and it will work here this one kind of differs as it does have these two reinforcements in this area as this one does not and it is drilled this was casted a little bit thicker in this area and it was drilled and tapped for the other boat we'll get to this we're going to get to this point set at some point in time and you may ask how come the, how come you just ain't went on ahead and timed that engine and been done with it the, the reason that I have not did that is if you do not have a good flywheel magnet you, then the, this point setting timing is of no use yeah it's gonna be continued you know that we're gonna get her done just fun here in the backyard shop